Good morning, everyone. Happy energy reading. I'm Terry. Great to see y'all again. Thanks for joining. A new day, a new experience, and a new moon. A new moon in Sagittarius. We have some really great yummy weather. It is, I remember correctly, the last new moon in Sagittarius for a while. And Sagittarius is all about fun and play and expansion and growth. So it's really, really cool to be able to have a new moon, which is all about seed planting and developing and growth in itself. Um, to be with and in Sagittarius. Yes, yes. So the new moon crests, I believe if I remember correctly, it's about 7.26 a.m. on the West Coast. So out here in L.A. So what is that? Like almost a little less than two hours. Woo, woo. So um, some people might be feeling a little agitated actually because supposedly from what I've done, uh, the some of the reading and the research that I've done, is that um, it can also, this new moon can kind of show up like a full moon, so a little bit grumpy, but it's all good. It's a really great moon to do some manifestation in creation. So you might wanna write down on a piece of paper all the wonderful things that you're intending for yourself. Now intention is all about not only wanting and desire, but taking action on something. So just make sure whatever you write your list on or about all the things that you'd like to bring into your life, you take action towards the steps of getting it. All right, guys. And then you can burn the paper. That's what I do. I burn it. And I always write myself an abundance check. Woo, woo. So any hoodles, let's get on to today's reading. I have picked and selected four cards. I don't know what they are just yet. There is no reveal. I will do that in just a moment. And this is a general reading, so please know that all this information may not resonate with everyone. So just take what does, toss what doesn't. And if you'd like something more personal, more private, you can book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me at terryhuberman.com. All my contact information is in the comment section below. Let's do a reveal, shall we? So we know what implementation tool we could use today to get through this human experience for today. Here we go. King of Diamonds, La Botella, Self-Acceptance. She's been coming up lately for us. We're in that mode. And lastly, Five of Air. So we have Five of Air, Self-Acceptance, La Botella and King of Diamonds. The, this is today's energy. Let me put this together. It feels a little scattered. A little scattered. A lot really mental today. <laughs> we're all going mental. No, um, we're in our heads a lot today. <sighs> seeking, seeking freedom, which of course is very Sagittarius. And the sun's in Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius season. Sagittarius is all about freedom. Um, some of us may have been feeling or today may feel bottled up, contained, restricted, which is like the total opposite of <laughs> what Sagittarius is all about. Sagis love their freedom. They love flexibility. They love to be able to travel and go wherever it is that they need to go. So the fact that today there might be this sense or this feeling of being trapped is really going to be a bit challenging for us today. So how do you get through it, right? How do we break through this feeling of being trapped, right? Because this sensation of being trapped can also make us feel stuck and the area of prosperity, money, career, finances is showing up. So this could be a challenge for us if we're trying to um, create or uh, make some money. If we want to make it rain, we need to uncontain ourselves. Is that even a word? Uncontain ourselves? <laughs> we need to break free, break through, not feel so contained. We have to tap into that Sagittarius 
um, emotion of, which is energy and motion of um, freedom, right? Because we got to feel free. So what do we do? Well, as we know, as we know, where focus goes, energy flows. So the more we're going to think about being trapped, not having that freedom, keeping ourselves small, not voicing our opinion, not showing up, Showing up is like half the battle because more than half the time, we don't even know what's going to happen if we show up. And most of the time, a lot of us are afraid to show up and we're afraid if we show up, we'll be rejected, abandoned, whatever that inner wounded, wounded little boy or girl is, you know, afraid of. But like that doesn't even typically happen anyways. So that's a way of containing yourself, keeping yourself small, right? So today, if you don't want to show up, let's make it opposite day show up. <laughs> if you don't want to voice your opinion today, voice your opinion. Let's that's the implementation tool for today is let's have it be opposite day. Because it's the only way to break through things. So if you're focusing so much on um on keeping yourself safe and not experiencing the world, not showing up, not taking an action, well, that's where all your energy is going to go and it's going to accumulate, accumulate, accumulate because energy only does three things. It accumulates, it redirects, or it disperses. So what you want to do is you want to take an action today. Taking action disperses that energy, right? So if you've got the energy of being contained and not and trapped and stuck, you got to place your awareness on it. You got to take an action to break it up so that you can redirect it into another goal, yes? So that's really what you wanna do today. Today is all about taking an action by doing the opposite of what you're feeling. That's how you're gonna break that energetic cord. That's how you're gonna break that energy of feeling trapped. Now here's the thing. This is all in your head. This isn't even real. This is illusion. So you're not really trapped. You're keeping yourself trapped, yes. You're keeping yourself small, yes. You're not voicing your opinion, yes. But that's all on you. And I'm so sorry to be so blunt and rude about it. But this is all you, boo. This is all you. So the self-acceptance card comes up, which, which tells us we need to look at the situation or these feelings of being trapped and go, okay, I get this is what's happening. I get that the more I put my and place my awareness or complain or think or feel trapped, I'm gonna continue staying trapped. So I need to do something, which today's implementation tool is to do the opposite of what you're feeling. And that will break up that energy and you will break through this feeling of being trapped. And then you can redirect that energy into something else, right? So you don't have to be small anymore, right? Now you can go on to another goal, but that's keeping you stuck today. That's keeping you stuck. So today's opposite day. Do the opposite of what you're feeling. Not comfortable. But that's part of being a human being. And that's what gets you out of your comfort zone. And that's what gets you into the magic of the gray area of the unknown where possibility and opportunity lies. All right, guys, what am I always saying to you? Stay connected. Stay connected to your friends and family. Stay connected to yourself. And of course, you can stay connected to me. You can check me out on my website, terryhuberman.com. Again, all of the information is down there in the comments section. I have a package that will get you out of indecision into your intuition, get you unstuck and moving forward again. We can take a look at this, why you're feeling so trapped. And we can energetically disperse this and get you back into alignment so that you can manifest and create the reality that you do want, right? How cool is that? If that sounds good to you, check on the intuitive coaching package section of my website, terryhuberman.com. Schedule yourself a complimentary consultation to see if we can work together. Who knows? Maybe we're a good match. Maybe this program of coaching readings and energy healings and breath work is really good for you. I don't know. I think it is, but let's see if you're a good match for it. Go ahead, schedule that complimentary consultation, and I'll see you on the flip side.